With construction underway on the Ohio River Bridges project, Louisville and Southern Indiana drivers are just a few years away from improved safety, fewer traffic jams, and an easier way to get across the Ohio River. Once work is complete, the area will have two new crossings, one downtown and the other in the east end. The downtown crossing includes building a new I-65 bridge next to the Kennedy Bridge, redecking the Kennedy Bridge, reconfiguring Spaghetti Junction to make it safer, and creating efficient connections to the new bridge on the Indiana side of the river. Eight miles upriver, the East End Crossing calls for a new bridge between Prospect, Kentucky and Utica, Indiana, completing a long missing highway link on both sides of the river. The Bridges Project is the largest single transportation project ever undertaken in the region. To pay for it, the states will use traditional highway funds which come primarily from taxes paid at the gas pump. But that's not enough. Tolling is also needed to cover the funding gap, which is about half the cost. A total of three bridges will be tolled. The new Downtown Bridge, the revamped Kennedy Bridge, and the new East End Bridge. Two bridges will not be tolled as part of the Bridges Project. The Clark Memorial, or 2nd Street Bridge, which connects downtown Louisville with Jeffersonville and Clarksville, and the Sherman Mitten Bridge on I-64 connecting New Albany with Louisville's West End. The Bridges Project will use only no-stop all-electronic tolling. There will be no toll plazas, no coin buckets, and no waiting in line. Traffic will flow freely. A gantry, such as this one, will have cameras and electronic receivers on it to record all the vehicles that cross. The least expensive toll rate will require a transponder. This is a small electronic device, usually the size of a credit card, typically placed on the windshield or dashboard. When a vehicle passes under a gantry, the toll amount is automatically deducted from an account set up by the vehicle owner. For a driver without a transponder, cameras capture license plate information and the vehicle owner is sent an invoice. Kentucky and Indiana are developing toll rates, which will be determined later this year. Here are the target rates for motorists using transponders. One dollar per crossing for frequent commuters, drivers of passenger vehicles who commute back and forth every weekday, $2 per crossing for motorists in cars, trucks, and SUVs who cross the bridges less frequently, $5 per crossing for drivers of panel or box trucks, $10 per crossing for drivers of semi-trucks or tractor-trailer rigs. Tolling systems often charge a higher rate to drivers without transponders to pay for this more costly, time-consuming collection method. Those who don't pay would be charged a penalty and face restrictions preventing vehicle registration until tolls are paid. It's important that drivers who use the bridges have options. The project is particularly interested in the impact tolls may have on minority and low-income residents and is seeking input on ways to mitigate tolling impacts. The states have already committed to invest in enhanced bus service, providing TARC with $20 million to buy more buses and vans, create more park and ride lots and bus shelters, and increase awareness of transit options for commuters. The states are proposing to make transponders free and easy to obtain at retail shops, government offices, and other convenient locations. Transponders may also be ordered online and delivered to your home. It will also be easy to fund an account tied to a transponder. There will be a low minimum balance, and the account can be automatically replenished by tying it to a debit or credit card, a bank account, or by making a cash deposit. These efforts will help ensure that low-income and minority residents have every opportunity to take advantage of the lowest toll rates available. A report on mitigating tolling impacts is available on the Bridges website and at local public libraries. Comments can be submitted online at kyinbridges.com or by mailing them to this address. You can also provide input at two public meetings, one on July 22nd in Clarksville, the other in Louisville on July 23rd. After years of planning, the Bridges Project will soon become a reality. Tell us what you think. 
Your input will be considered as decisions on tolling are developed. Comments will be accepted through July 26th. Thank you for your time, and we look forward to your comments.